Hi, Patricia. How are you doing? Oh, I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for taking our time again. Last time, I, we unfortunately had a really bad technical glitch, and we couldn't uh, get your interview back. But I'm glad that we are getting the opportunity to chat again. Yes. Yeah, and we had a really nice chat as well. So Yes, we did. <laughs> So, uh, Patricia, as everybody would like to know your story, like everybody has a defining moment. What was your story? Oh, um, well, I, I, I guess, I guess, uh, if you ask my uh, eldest child, um, they would say that it was uh, it was having a child at a very, uh, a relatively early age. I was, I was twenty one at the time. <laughs> so, so, uh, so. If you're going to say that you had like that moment when you kind of changed your entire trajectory of your life, then that would probably uh, be it. When I, I went from not knowing what I would be doing in three months to yeah. suddenly knowing what I would be doing for 20 years. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So how did it all start? You are and you have your own company. I have seen that you have done such amazing things. You started your career in 2005. You were an assistant teacher, you were a full-time programmer, consultant, developer, prototype engineer. I think public speaker as well. It's like so many things you have done. I can't, I think maybe I missed it a lot as well. No, well, well I, I um, uh, way back when in, in 2000, when I just decided I had to, to, uh, to uh, reinvent myself and make a new life, I went to university and I, uh, I was planning on studying mathematics and, and languages because uh, those were two things I was interested in. But, uh, but then I, by chance, took a programming course, uh, symbolic programming in, in, in Scheme, which is like a Lisp dialect. And, uh, and then I fell in love with programming and I, I changed my entire um, plan for, for my academic uh, plan and switched over to computer science. And, and, uh, and I loved it. I just wanted to do more and more programming. So I, was, uh, I took all of the programming classes I could uh, get my hands on. And, um, and then when, when I finished in, in 2005, uh, while I was at university, I've been using Opera as my main browser. And so my, my, uh, my first choice for an employer after university was uh, to go and work on at opera on my browser uh, and and uh, and that actually worked out so right after university i went to to opera to to work on the opera browser and in 2005 and and um i worked there for for uh for uh, for uh, four or five years and uh and then i went and and did uh I tried to be a Java programmer for a couple of years because at, at Opera I was doing uh, I was doing C plus plus at university I've been doing Java and lots of other languages. Um, so then I was a uh, I was uh, a consultant for a couple of years and then I wanted to go back to C plus plus and so I went to to Cisco and I, I worked on embedded uh, pro uh, products there, uh, making video conferencing equipment for. <laughs> this new reality that has, is now, but, yeah. <laughs> uh, and, uh, and while I was there, I was also playing around with browser stuff uh, there. Uh, and then I was like, oh, I want to make a browser again. So I, I went to, to uh, Vivaldi and, uh, uh, and I worked on the Vivaldi browser uh, for a while. But while I was there, I was like, oh, I really want to start something on my own. Like I went to my, like start my own company. Uh, and so, but I didn't know what, like yeah. for what, I don't know. Um, and I kind of, I guess I've kind of felt like I had to have like a real purpose, but I, I just wanted to start my own workplace kind of thing. And uh, and so I, I brought it up with my husband uh, one morning when we were like, <laughs> like one weekend where we were just like sitting at breakfast and I was like, yeah, so... <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking I was going to quit my job and start a company and and uh, I was like no so I, I just I I was uh, I was I was worried you know it's like it's a big step it's like saying that you want to do this and so I was thinking maybe in a year you know when I've, I've thought it through properly and uh, he goes all quiet and he's like and I'm like oh my gosh uh, this is not going to go well <laughs> You were scared. Okay, this yeah, moment is like, bigger. and I was like, you gotta say something. And he was like, he's, he was like, I'm thinking. And I was like, okay, just think faster. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
and uh, and then he was like okay i think that's a great idea i'm gonna quit my job and work for your company and i'm like yeah, wait, what <laughs> are we both quitting the jobs <laughs> you know there is no company you know yeah. I, i just bought some domain names i mean this is like and he was like yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, i'm gonna quit my job and work for your company and so so while i was still a vivaldi he yeah. found his first client uh he started the company and quit his job in in the span of two weeks from saying wow. he was- <laughs> that's amazing yes Uh, and so I was still working at Vivaldi and he had started the company. And and uh, then I was like, okay, a few months afterwards, I was like, well, I guess I have to go join the company now. <laughs> so, so, so that's how your venture started. Yes. Amazing. So so that's uh, uh, three years ago now. And uh, wow. and it's it, it's been it's been great. I have to say we were we were both very worried because we hadn't yeah. worked like this before. But uh, yeah uh it's it you know if if you can get if you can get sustainable income and 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 stuff it is amazing to to uh, to do in, in my opinion so yes so were you scared that okay starting a new company of course you had your support your husband was supporting you but still you know there was some you know a lot of people who want to start their own job like on ventures they're a little bit scared that oh if i'm going to quit my job it's going to be a problem yes so were you scared like a little bit that what is yes. going to happen oh yeah no it, it was definitely like uh, it was a little bit like jumping off a cliff but i but i have to say like um basically we thought about it for a while and we came to yeah. the conclusion that okay well if it fails we'll just go and get a job yeah <laughs> So you had a backup plan. So yeah, it's like it's not like I can't go and get a job. Of actually, course. actually, it's it's like while I've been working at Turtle Sec, uh, like most of the people I talk to, they be they uh, for like a possible assignment as a yeah. as a contractor or consultant, they they tell me, oh, we would hire you in a heartbeat, but we don't take yeah. consultants. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> So, so I don't think it would be hard to get a job. Yeah. Um, if if uh, if uh, everything fell apart. Uh, so so and I guess that's that's why it didn't feel like such a huge risk. Like there's yeah. no massive investment if you work in tech. Like what is what's yeah. it, what is it that you need to do to do your job? Well, you need a computer. Yeah. Uh, and an internet connection. Yeah. And and you don't need much else. Like okay, yeah. now you probably need a microphone yeah. and a camera, but you know <laughs> that you usually have because you are working. Yeah. But it's not like you have to buy a factory. It's not yeah. like you have to have all of these materials. It's not like there's like this huge upfront investment yeah. that you need. If you're going to to live off of your brain, then most uh, most yeah. of what you're going to need is 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 quite relatively cheap. Uh, uh and um And that also means that if it fails, like, you know, okay, so then I will go do something else. Uh, so, so in that way, I, I think it's a relatively uh, uh, less risky uh, thing to do, but still, I yeah. mean, it's scary. Uh, what if we fail? Well, yeah. okay, then we, you know, then we failed, then we tried something and it failed and it's, yeah. <laughs> but I, I, I think that's important when you're like, you yeah. get scared about things then you just think okay so what what's the worst thing that can happen yeah okay so so imagine that happened what would you do and it's like okay well then I guess you know yeah. I guess I, I failed this works every time I've tried this I <laughs> yeah. always see the situation okay what worse can happen okay this is the worst thing that can happen in life yeah and I think uh, you become automatically very optimistic Yeah, because and it's it's like a lot of things and like yeah. a lot of things in business as well as it's sort of like okay, so what's the worst that can happen? It's like and then it's yeah. often often the answer is they can say no. And yeah. I was like, okay, then they said no. Yeah. I mean, I mean if that's the worst that can happen and the, like yeah. the best that can happen is that they say yes and we do amazing things. Ah, great. And if they say no, well then they said no and maybe somebody else will say yes. Yeah. And and <laughs> <laughs> And it will just it, it but it but it helps because I get I, I think sometimes if you just say something out loud, uh, then you kind of you can hear like, oh, it's not that bad actually. It just felt bad in the moment. Yeah. yeah. So out of all these roles, which one is your favorite? Like 
I'm I'm a programmer. Like I like if I if I want to be I I don't know what it is. Like if I if I could compare it to 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 the like how other people describe things, yeah. I think it would be like for me it, it's like uh like uh like mindfulness or something. Yeah. Like it, for me it's it's that's how I I I get happy. Like it's so so if I'm even like even if I'm like slightly like down and like yeah. you know, if if I can spend like three days just coding, yeah. I'll be happier. <laughs> and it doesn't really matter what I make. Yeah. Yeah. For some reason, the 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 whole and I, I think maybe it has something to do with mindfulness because you have to be very focused in the moment. There's like you can't be obsessing about stuff uh, that's been going on and you can't be worried about the future. So it's very much like in the moment thing. So I think maybe it is kind of mindfulness in a in a weird way. Uh, and often described as like flow or something, but you kind of just get into this focus state and yeah. and uh, for some reason it it just it makes me happy wow. i can't explain it <laughs> yeah so this has been like if when i see you know you as a woman doing a lot of things do you feel that um women feel somehow they face a lot of struggles and hurdles while they are working in the industry yes uh yes very much uh um a few years ago, I guess yeah. I must have been in 2018, maybe. I I um I I saw a tweet uh, on Twitter, uh, a woman who said that uh, other women that uh, other women are there other women that are the only women devs in their teams. And then I wrote wrote back and I said basically my entire career. <laughs> <laughs> and and then she said do you have any survival tips yeah. uh, and I was like because the thing is I hadn't really I, I could just base it on my own experience that's the whole that's the whole problem of being yeah. a minority in a situation is that you don't know how much is universally applicable and what is just your personal experience right yeah. so I just I just wrote from my personal experience and I, I wrote uh, uh, so I wrote like uh, 24, like a thread of 24 tips. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and it became like insanely popular. It's like, it was retweeted wow. like crazy. And since it wasn't a reply to, to yeah. her, yeah. uh, it ended up being all sort of, sorts of, uh, messed up because it, the threading doesn't work on Twitter yeah. when it's not yeah. your actual thread. Yeah. Uh, and so then I got worried about like people will miss the rest of it. So then I put all of it in a blog post and then I kind of explained the, the different points better. Yeah. Uh, so, so if you, if you search, uh, I, I, I think if you just Google like Patricia yeah. and survival tips, uh, then you probably will find it. Uh, I'm definitely and checking it. <laughs> and, and, uh, and it has, it has all sorts of, of random things. Uh, and it was in the order of it came to mind, but, but it is, uh, uh, but when you read it, you kind of realize that it, it does come from kind of a sad place. <laughs> yeah, it does. It does. Because, you know, some industries are even, of course, I come from marketing and management industry, but still women are very less. And when it comes to tech industry, it's completely different. Yeah. You just don't expect women to be there. Yeah, no, and 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 in C plus plus, where where in the like the the subsection of programming where I've uh, been most of my career, it's even worse. So, yeah. so I it's it's often it's uh, it's not uncommon that that if I am a programmer in a in a in a in a company, then I will be, uh, I'll be the like one woman per one hundred developers. Yeah, so that's one percent. It's just like I it it's 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 ridiculously small percentage yeah um and but it also means that most of the men that i work with have never worked with a woman oh. in their entire career as a yeah. as a developer they might have yeah. worked with with women in other roles but never as as a, as a co-developer yeah yeah uh, and and that happens basically every time you start a new team you have a bunch of guys that have only ever worked with guys yeah uh, <laughs> and 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 it takes like I I I spoke to I think I spoke to like uh, two or three women who yeah. have been in this uh, where somebody said oh yeah you should go and uh, you know apply for this job and they and, and what they say is that no I'm not leaving this company and and people are like 
why what <laughs> and they go like i have trained these men now for three years yeah <laughs> I'm not leaving. <laughs> I've finally gotten them to a point where yeah. this is acceptable. Yeah. I'm not going and training a new group of men. Uh, it's just no. And 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 I, and it's funny because the thing is, I think it, there is truth there. I, yeah. I I think it's like you've managed to 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 shape the culture in a way that is exactly is 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 less bro culture and more like human being culture. Yes. <laughs> And, and uh, it's, it's, it's taxing to do that over and over again. And, and that's the thing that I don't think also, I don't think women, especially in the beginning of their careers, yeah. I don't think they realize how tiring it gets. Like in the beginning, it's like, yeah, well, it's not that bad. I guess I can do this and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And I don't understand why these like older women are complaining so much. It's, it's fine. I will make yeah. do. But the thing is over time, it's like years and years of this. And you're like, it wears you down yeah uh, and, and no you're you start, right <laughs> and you so start questioning yourself exactly like, do i belong here like it, am i wrong it's like and some days you wake up and you think like why am i doing this to myself i should like get another job like it shouldn't be this hard and so a lot of the stuff in my thread is is basically just advice i would have given to like myself yeah um but on the other hand, I, I'm not sure I would have listened. <laughs> so, I, 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 these, these things weren't like things that I, it wasn't things that I knew yeah. and I did right. I, 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 most of those things were things that I did and uh, that I did wrong. A and I realized afterwards uh, that it was wrong. Like, like trying to become one of the guys, like yeah. changing my personality, changing the way I spoke, changing changing maybe the way I dressed yeah. changing lots of things to try to fit in and, yeah. and, and and kind of losing myself in that situation and kind of and often becoming a person that I didn't like anymore uh, and and that's that's hard like just saying because we are adaptive creatures as human beings and we yeah. want to be a part of the group and but but at a certain point you kind of you take a step back and you look at this person you've become or you are becoming yeah. And then you go like, I don't like that person. <laughs> yeah. And I don't want to go further. <laughs> no, I don't want to be, the, I don't want to be that person. Yeah. Uh, and, 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 and I think sometimes we need to take a step back and think, okay. Yeah. I, I maybe, maybe I need to step out of the situation. Maybe I need, and it doesn't, but the thing is, I think very often what I see a lot of women do is they think, oh, well, I have to leave tech altogether. Yeah. And, and, and and no, you don't have to leave tech altogether, but you got to, you have to leave these people. <laughs> yes. Just like move to another place like I, I, and find other people, people who, who, who are happy that you're there. Like yes. find those people and, yeah. and, uh, and, and be very, very like, discerning about the people that you surround yourself with. Yeah. And, and it's unfortunate that, that, that we have to be uh, so careful about these things uh, but but it, but it is what it is and we kind of have to exist in a reality that it, yeah it shouldn't be that way but it is that way and so we still have to go to work <laughs> yes we have to <laughs> so 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 we do what we can to make that better uh, yeah. and uh, and 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 a part of that i think is helping other underrepresented people and yeah. in, that are underrepresented in different ways like yeah. help them get jobs help them to get opportunities help them to do like whatever you can to like to like send the elevator down if you and and get other people to come with you because we need we need much more diversity in this uh, yes. industry and we need to like level the playing field because it is not level and we need yes. more role models that are not white guys yeah <laughs> so, <laughs> and so so and and that's why I speak actually I yeah. I, I I um I was I, I was uh, uh, at work it was a Cisco it was probably in 2016-17 okay. I remember and uh and there was an internal conference and they were trying to find speakers and uh for like a women's conference and then they wow and they were and and they were uh just and i i was like it would be nice if we had a technical speaker yeah uh and they were like yeah but we can't find any women technical speakers and i was like that's sad that's really sad yes yeah 
And I was like, and so then I, I, I wrote in the, uh, in the internal chat, I wrote, I want a role model. <laughs> And then, and then uh, this uh, this woman, she walks up to me uh, later, uh, and she said, "But Patricia, I, I read I read what you you wrote in the channel," and she was like, "But to me, you are a role model." And I wow. was like, "Wait, what? What are you talking about?" <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I, but but the thing is, it turned like it turned it around because then I realized I'd been working in the industry yeah. for for eleven, twelve years. Uh, it wasn't like I was new, uh, I, you know, there's lots of women that have worked a lot less than me. And, yeah. and then I realized, okay, why, why, you know, maybe I should like show my face and just say, you know, hi, we're not all dead. I mean, some yeah. of us are still here <laughs> <laughs> and we still love to program. It didn't, yeah. it wasn't a phase. And <laughs> Um, and so, and so I, 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 I started speaking at conferences, uh, basically for, for two reasons. One yeah. reason was that other women would see a woman on stage, like they yeah. would see, sh- they exist. These, yeah. these, these women, they, they exist in the universe. Like, yeah. just because I don't see them around me daily, they do exist. There are people like me out there. Uh, and, um, and the other thing is I wanted men who hadn't worked with women or worked very, like had very little experience working with women to see, oh, there are really technical women out yeah. there that yeah. are highly capable. And me going around thinking that, you know, women uh, can't do this work. I'm being silly because clearly here is an example of a woman that can't. So, yeah. so, th- so, so this is not, this is a fallacy. And and, and and I was hoping that that would kind of prepare them mentally yeah. uh, for for getting a woman in their teams that they were like that is not weird to them that women are highly technical yeah. uh, and then hopefully that they would be would be better colleagues uh, yeah. to to future women and so those were basically the the reasons why I speak because actually I hate speaking. <laughs> No, to be honest, we need people like you to speak because I feel that there are a lot of women who want to, who are very smart and they just, you know, they're just scared to join any industry. They feel like, you know, that maybe men would not accept me yeah. or how am I going to behave there? What is going to happen? So they're just scared to go out. Yeah. And, 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 and that's why, you know, I, I have my, my, my DMs are open on Twitter. So anyone can DM me. Uh, yeah. uh, which means that I often get women from from all over the world That's who, who, who read my blog post, who are in a crisis at work uh, and don't know what to do and want advice. Yeah. And, 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 and I, I, I don't necessarily have like all of the all of the answers, but what yeah. I, but, but I but I do have the experience enough to know what it's like yeah. and also to believe them. Uh, and, and, and that oftentimes is so important because when you're in a situation, you, you start wondering, like, is it all in my head? Like, am I crazy? Yeah. <laughs> and, and just having somebody say, no, this is, this, this is not you. This yeah. is not you. This is, you're, you're not wrong here. And yeah. um, that can be so powerful to just being able to to get that perspective because it is it, you can become very self-destructive uh yeah. trying to figure this out yeah you start questioning yourself actually yes. that maybe you are not that capable and yes. that's why people are not accepting you yes and it just yes. you know if you continue to walk in that phase it just becomes really bad for you yes and it, it just it gets worse it and, exactly. and 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 so 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 that's actually uh, uh, one of my tips, I don't remember which one, uh, yeah. but it's basically try, uh, try to believe uh, that it's not you, uh, <laughs> that it is them. <laughs> and, yeah. and, and, and even I, I don't even say it's not you, it's them. I'm saying try yeah. to believe it. And I'm not even saying like you man- will manage, but yeah. just try because it's hard. It is so hard when you are in the situation to, to be able to, to get that perspective. Like personally, yeah. I always leave too late always yeah like I should like the moment I get far enough away I realize I should have left long ago yeah <laughs> but but it's but but when you're in it 
you yeah. kind of kind of feel like if I just work harder, if I'm just a little bit nicer, if I don't talk so loud, if I wear less revealing clothes, if I do this, if I do that, you know, maybe, maybe they'll accept me. And yeah, uh, it is so self-destructive and you, and, and you literally destroy yourself in the process. Exactly. Of, yeah. And it's, it's, but it's super hard not to do. Like, yes. <laughs> it's just you it's very weird you're in a weird situation you don't know what to do and I feel that you are doing a great job I feel that you know this has actually motivated me as well that maybe you know you, we should start writing more about what we have experienced so that other women can actually maybe reach out to us and if they are not comfortable yeah. they just read it and yeah. they feel better that they are in a similar situation yeah I, and I, I think like even even now, very recently, I was speaking to yeah. to a woman and she was in in a, a, a hard place. And yeah. and uh, and then I sent her like screenshots of, of some of my like uh, survival tips. Yeah. And I and and they were like basically describing exactly what she was saying. And yeah. I was like, I wrote this four years ago or something. The, these are not words I'm I'm telling you now in this situation. Yeah. This is words I wrote years ago. <laughs> so yeah. so so just so you know, it's not only you. It's yeah. not. This is not like it's not you. This is a pattern. This is something yeah. you experience. This is this is not something that has to do with you being wrong in any way. This yeah. is an experience shared by so many women, and I've I've spoken to women from all over the world. Uh, from 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 uh, from Southeast Asia to 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 Russia to to Brazil to to America to like all over the world, yeah. and and they all have have similar stories uh, of, of 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 trying to be a woman in tech, uh, yeah. and so so it and and even outside of tech, like I've seen, I've spoken to women in academia, I've spoken to women in finance. I, I've spoken to women in in so many other sectors that have similar issues as well. Yeah. So, so just just the fact like like when I wrote when I wrote that thread, yeah, I didn't realize that it was a common experience. Like me, I was writing it, but I didn't yeah. realize either. Yeah. So so I got that validation from other people saying, "Oh my god, you know, me too." Yeah. <laughs> so and I think that is so powerful to realize that is not only me you know yeah I can actually relate whatever you're saying so I feel that every woman who is actually working would have gone or been in a similar situation yes. some must have dealt it very nicely and some might have been dealing right now so I think your talk and your blog is like really really perfect for them yeah do you feel that uh if if we talk specifically about IT so do you think that there's, there are anything which you would say to maybe women or men, what in future they should do, you know, what should they actually follow so that they can achieve their goals? One, like, unfortunately. Any advice? Yeah. 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 <laughs> unfortunately, I, I, the, 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 the problem that we still have, uh, which is, is, is true for, 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 for all groups that are underrepresented in tech. So that's not yeah. only women, but, but, but also it's like people of color, black people, people with disabilities, yeah. uh, queer, like, uh, gay, queer people, trans people, like all of these groups. Yeah. Uh, the, one of the problems that we have is that we have to be, we have to be very good. Uh, it, 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 you, it's not it, being, unfortunately, yeah. being average will probably not be enough for us yeah. and that that's not how it should be of course and 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 that is also one of the things that I think is very important for people to to separate in their heads uh, it's yeah. something that my mother told me when I was uh, young which has stuck with me she said uh, you need to distinguish between how the world should be yeah. and how the world is uh, and and be very explicit about that difference and so and and when you think about things you have to realize that when you say it shouldn't be like that that's yeah. how the world should be but yeah. you still have to live in the world as it is uh, and 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 so so when i give you survival tips and 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 say that you have to be you have to be better yeah. uh, it's it's dealing with the world as it is but that doesn't mean that is the world how it should be yeah. you know what i mean yeah. Uh, so, so it, it, it is true. We, ha we have to, we have to be better because yeah. 
if we are not, uh, then the people who don't want us here are going to use it against us. And they're That's going to true. use it against us as individuals, and they're going to use it against us as a group. Uh, and, and this responsibility can feel extremely uh, unfair because it is unfair. <laughs> yeah. No, I've read that you, you are writing about diversity and inclusion, and now I understand why are you working towards these things, because I think you understand these things, you feel a lot about it, and it's really nice to see, you know, that people out there are working on such topics. Yeah, no, I, I think we, we I, I like the thing is, I don't think that yeah. we should be like, I, I, I really feel like, okay, so if you go to the world as it should be, I, yeah. I, I feel like women should be able to operate in tech, yeah. just as any other man, just focusing on, you know, the work on the tech on the knowledge on the, you know, and, and not worry. But the yeah. problem is that you are living in the real world and, and your whatever characteristic about you makes you unrepresented in tech is not something that you can ignore because it's going to be pushed in your face in all sorts of different circumstances. Uh, so you don't have the privilege of pretending it, it, it isn't there. You have to deal with the reality of the situation. And, and one of the things that I've been trying to do in many different ways is to, to make people more aware yeah. of, of, of things that, that happens to other people but don't happen to you yeah and uh, because that is often a, a problem that people have is that they they don't necessarily believe in things because it yeah. has never happened to them uh which which is uh, so so and and that goes to it goes to sexism racism uh ableism lots of things that that you that don't happen to you and therefore you don't realize how common it is and how yeah. attack, how exhausting it is to live with it constantly yeah uh, so so and 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 a part of that is is if i can if i can educate uh the people around you <laughs> yeah then hopefully that can make your life better in the middle you know what i that's mean so true. that's so true and i completely agree with you because you know if i feel that the way you said that where you have work and women said that, oh, I don't want to work with new men that I have to train. But you know, wherever you have left, you actually did better because the other yeah. women who will be joining there will yeah. actually be more comfortable working there. Yeah. So I feel that your sm of course, now you're doing a lot, but those small efforts also yeah. helped a lot. Yeah, no, but it was it was funny. I read a tweet the other day. I think I yeah. even retweeted it. Yeah, it, it, was, a, she, it was a woman, she said, um uh the uh, i don't remember the exact wording but it was something like the downside of 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 uh, breaking the glass ceiling is uh, is that uh you you die of of, of bleeding to death by all of yeah. the cuts <laughs> yeah. on your body but uh, the upside of breaking the glass ceiling is that for the next person it's already broken that's true, actually that's true because but it's, you have faced it <laughs> but I'm afraid, but it's not so much fun if you're the one that was sacrificed in the process right I know <laughs> so so it is uh, it, the, the, it is it is hard and it's one of the reasons why I think it's more it's really important for senior women to to yeah. to, to talk about these things um because we do have, we have already built a lot of credibility. And so we can afford to spend some of that yeah. to say these things. Uh, that can be so difficult if you're a junior woman, because people will dismiss you because you are junior. Yeah. And, uh, and, and so, so I think it's very important for, for both senior women and men, like anyone who has that kind of, 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 of technical credibility in their community, to, yeah. to spend that technical credibility in 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 opening doors for other people yeah. and for 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 changing culture uh, and and i think that is something that is easier to do once you once you have that uh in the community that people yeah. will actually let you get away with it <laughs> no i'm to, to be honest i'm very impressed because I think these small changes have led to bigger changes. And now you are speaking publicly a lot, which is amazing. So that, you know, um, 
we say that uh, you know every drop counts right so yeah. i feel that yes this will totally help everyone coming to academy you had an amazing talk about uh, problem solving of course uh, there are videos available already but there if there can be small one key message from your talk what would be well the 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 talk the talk is is centered around uh, uh, a model uh, and 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 the model is 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 a uh, is a sense making framework. That's uh, yeah. what the creator calls it. But the idea here is that we are as as people in tech, uh, mm -hmm. in our different roles, uh, we we tend to solve problems in certain ways, uh, and those ways are not the same uh, across roles. So yeah. so how so so the, and and that has a lot to do with the problems that we have to solve in that kind of role. So, so if you are in operations, uh, you might be more concerned with things like uptime and 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 uh, and uh, and robustness and things like that. When you're coming from, uh, let's say, uh, product development, you're more concerned with ideas and trying them out and talking to users, and it's much more of an like discovery kind of process. Um, so and 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 if you're an incident response, it's more like chaotic, and you kind yeah. of have to 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 get uh, get it under control in some way. And these things are very different kinds of scenarios. And and if you have these kinds of roles, you tend to work in a specific scenario most of the time. Yeah. Uh, like if you're an incident response, you're either you know preparing for a positive possible incident you're in an incident or you are learning from incidents yeah. and and so it's it's a very it's a very uh specific kind of, of of thing and so my talk is basically trying to describe through a team yeah uh, uh how all of these things are needed uh to work together and and yeah. and it's a little bit to address what i've seen a lot in my career and that is these culture clashes between different types of roles, uh, where where a lot of, of times things are 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 described as malicious when they're yeah. actually just people trying to do their job or trying to apply their their normal skill set mm -hmm. uh, or their normal uh, problem solving. And 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 if we can suddenly realize that oh, they're actually they're they're used to operating in a different situation than I am and they have different things that they're measured on and the things that they need to produce or the things yeah. that they need to take care of then you can suddenly realize that I'm really glad they're doing that because I'm not doing that so somebody <laughs> definitely needs to be doing that yeah. thing uh, and 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 in that way kind of take take away some of the some of the the, the artificial conflicts and more yeah. uh, and more get to an uh, a mode of appreciating uh, your colleagues that are have different functions in the company and and in your team and uh, and try to see how that together you are 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 better than you are uh, apart. Yeah, yeah. So you know you have such I would say that inspiring story. Um, I would really like to see what are you planning to do in future, any upcoming project, or are you planning to write a book? <laughs> Everyone tells me to write a book. <laughs> yes, you can. I think <laughs> your blog was amazing. So I'm sure that your book will also be. Oh, but it's, I, I the thing is I kind of want to write a book, but I'm also yeah. like terrified of writing a book. Like, <laughs> so so I, I, I don't know if I'll, I'll ever write a book or if yeah. I write a book, maybe I'll just write like a fiction book one day oh, that's um, interesting. <laughs> but but uh, now so currently uh, our company is growing uh, a little bit and that's uh, super exciting so so um, so uh, very soon we'll be uh, five employees in our company nice yes so that will be super exciting and um, and the thing is just like my dream probably is to make a browser uh, unfortunately mm -hmm. I have to figure out how that could be sustainable uh, but that is like that is uh that is my dream that so um I, I i do play around i have uh i have a browser uh code base that i i play with 
uh, which is uh, which is chromium blink based, uh, and um, and that's if I had like uh, unlimited funds, that's what I would, probably would do. But uh, but you know we all got to get <laughs> we all got to get yes. paid. <laughs> yes. So <laughs> so it, it's it's slow going, but but maybe maybe I can figure something out at least to to do something a bit slowly and and yeah. get something going. No, no, hopefully, uh, I will pray that you are successful in it and we will be the users, hopefully, for that Thank browser. You. It has a cute UI. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, you will. Yes. I'm sure you will figure it out. <laughs> Thank that you. Somehow you will launch it. Thank you so much for your time. And I really had an amazing time with you. And I feel that your uh, this interview will definitely help a lot of women in industry. Thank you. I hope so. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs>